Namaste all. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And back again with a new topic of science. That is chapter 1 of NCRT class 10 science. The name of the chapter is chemical reactions and equations. This is, this is a part of chemistry. And uh, the thing is, I am not going to cover all the topics of this lesson. But just I am going to cover some of the uh, important topics of this chapter. And the most important equations. Um, the thing is, I am going to solve two of the equations and balance two equations and whatever the steps I have used to balance these two equations, you need to use those same steps uh, to balance any of the given equation. So now the, uh, without any further ado, we will get into it. The first example is hydrogen plus oxygen gives water. This is um, most easiest one. And here, first we need to uh, write this in the form of chemical equation because now if it is given as a, in the word form, we need to write it in the form of chemical symbols. So now, first hydrogen. The form uh, symbol of hydrogen is H. But the thing is, when hydrogen is given in any compound, then we can uh, write the means formula of the compound. But when only hydrogen is given. We cannot write only H because hydrogen is always present in the atmosphere and is available in the form of diatomic molecule. So we need to write it as H2. And also in the case of oxygen, here also it is not uh, available in the form of just O but it is present in our atmosphere in the form of O2, diatomic molecule. And next we need to write formula of water. That is H2O. Now, uh, here is an arrow mark and the elements and compounds behind this arrow mark are known as uh, reactants. So, these two are the reactants here and uh, the compound that is on the right side or after this arrow mark that is known as a product. H2O is a product here. Uh, first, we need to write the number of atoms of each element. See here, in this uh, reactants, hydrogen is present and another element, oxygen is present. Only these two uh, elements are present in the reactant side. So here, let us count the number of atoms of hydrogen. That is, H2 means two hydrogen are there. So hydrogen number is two and oxygen also two are there. And in H2, here also H is there and oxygen is there. And H. Here H2O means H here is also two atoms of hydrogen are there. So we will write it as two. And see here oxygen. If uh, no number is given after the after any element, then you have to consider it as one. We need not write this, but if there is nothing, then it is one. So here oxygen is one. See now compare both the sides, reactant side and product side. Here H is 2 and here also H is 2. So hydrogen is balanced on both the sides. But oxygen is 2 here and oxygen is 1 here. So oxygen is not balanced and we need to balance the oxygen first. See before balancing the equation, uh, I want to tell you another thing. That is, see here H2 is there, no? Uh, for all these uh, what is it, elements and compounds, you need to put a bracket. This is just for the purpose of balancing. See here, after putting these brackets, uh, if we need to change or balance these equations, then we are not supposed to anything inside this bracket. See here, now I told that uh, one extra oxygen is uh, needed. So we cannot write it as H2O2. It will be wrong. It will be a different compound. It will not become H2O then. It will write it H2O2. And also we cannot write it as a H3O, H4O. Here we cannot write it as a O3. Like this, we are not supposed to change anything inside this bracket. Whatever we need to do, we need to do it behind this bracket or we, uh, at the, I means at the starting of the compound. See here now, oxygen is 2 here and oxygen is 1 here. Uh, another thing is, we cannot reduce the number of atoms in any uh, reaction, but we can increase the number of atoms. See here, oxygen 2 are there, we cannot 
cannot reduce it to 1 because that is not at all possible. We need O2 compulsory. And here 1 is there. Uh, here 1 we can increase this 1. Uh, we can increase this to any number but we cannot decrease number of atoms. So now here uh, the oxygen, the less number of oxygen is present in right side that is product side. So we need to balance this side because we can increase this side uh, the number of oxygen. So now here H2 is there. Uh, just the thing is we need to make it 2H2O. Now 1H2 is there. I am making it 2H2O. Now again we will compare the number of atoms each side. See here hydrogen is 2 again and oxygen is 2 again. Here H2O, 2H2O means uh, here we need, you need to multiply these two things. Here 2 into 2 means hydrogen will become 4. And here 1 is there. So 2 into 1 oxygen will become 2. If you don't understand why we did this multiplication, just you can uh, write it as here 2H2O, uh, 2H2O are there. H2O plus H2O, see here. 2H plus 2H that is 4 hydrogen. 1 oxygen, 1 oxygen. That is oxygen is 2. See, now compare it again. Now oxygen is balanced, but hydrogen is not balanced. Uh, here hydrogen is 2 and here hydrogen is 4. Now we need to balance the hydrogen again. Uh, now see here 2 are there and here 4 are there. So we cannot change this side because uh, uh, the number of hydrogen is more in this side. So you cannot decrease it to 2. But in this side you can increase this 2 as a 4. So now uh, we will do the whatever the balancing or changes this side or reactant side. So now uh, H2 are there. Here two reactants are there. You need to recognize that uh, in which element or in which compound we need to make changes. Here if you make any changes in this oxygen, it will not be used for us because we need to balance hydrogen. That's why whatever the changes we have to do, we need to do in this part. That is H2 part. Here uh, simply what I do is I will write two H2. Means one H2 was there and I added another H2 so it became two H2. Now uh, we will compare it again. See here now. Number of hydrogen. Here 2 into 2. That is 4 are there. Oxygen is 2. And here hydrogen is same 4 and oxygen is 2. Now compare the number of atoms of each element on both the sides. Uh, H hydrogen is 4 and here also 4. Oxygen is 2. Here also 2. So now we can call this as, uh, wait, I'll write it once again, 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O. So this is our balanced equation. Isn't it so easy? Now we'll do another one. Uh, this one is a uh, easier one. The next one is a little bit difficult, but also you can do it. It will be uh, easier if you follow all the steps neatly. So here is our second example. That is iron plus water gives iron oxide plus hydrogen. First we write the chemical equation. Here the formula of iron is Mp plus water that is H2O. And you need to know the formula of iron oxide if you want to balance this equation. And the formula of iron oxide is Fe3O4 plus in the last example we saw that whenever uh, means just hydrogen is given we need to write it as H2 instead of H. But it is not the same in case of iron. Remember that only some uh, atom, uh, sorry, some elements are present in the form of diatomic molecules. Now we will put the bracket first we will count the number of atoms of each element. Here iron is there and hydrogen is there oxygen is there. Count the number of iron here. It is 1 and hydrogen is to oxygen is 1. Now uh, comes this side. Here uh, check the number of iron. Yes, E3 means 3 atoms of iron are present. So we will 
write it as 3 and again H and O. Here check the number of hydrogen, it is 2. And oxygen is Fe3O4. O4 means uh, its number is 4. See, whenever it is uh, uh, given like this, uh, like Fe3O4, then these numbers, like here 4 is given, no? this 4 is applicable only for O. And this 3 is applicable only for Fe and not for other things. You need to remember that one. So now see whether this equation is balanced or not. Iron, a number of atoms of iron is 1 here and 3 here. Uh, hydrogen is 2 here and 2 here. Oxygen is 1 here and here it is 4. So we can easily understand that uh, this equation is not balanced and we need to balance it. See now again hydrogen is already balanced Fe and O. If you compare iron and oxygen, the number of iron uh, atoms and oxygen atoms are more in this side and are less in this side. As I already told you, in which side the number of atoms will be less and that side only you need to balance the equation. Because you can only increase the number of atoms in the reaction but not decrease that number of atoms. So now here Fe is there and oxygen is there. Now uh, first let us balance Fe. We can take any one uh, we want. Uh, here Fe1 is there and here Fe3 is there. So uh, what we have to do if we need to get 3 I means 1 is there into Vx. Uh, we don't know the value and we need to get 3. Then what will be the value of Vx? It will be 3 of course. So here we will write it 3. Then we got F, Fe as 3 and here also it is 3. So uh, Fe is balanced. And now we will move towards oxygen. Oxygen is 1 here and 4 here. So again we are going to balance the oxygen on the left side that is reaction side. And here 1 is there in this one and here 4 is there. So uh, we need 4 oxygen. We have to do the same thing. Here one oxygen is there. And what we have to multiply to this oxygen? We don't know about that. So let it be X. Yes. And we want 4 oxygens. So we need to multiply it by 4. Here single oxygen is not present. It is in the form of compound. So we need to uh, means increase the number of the whole compound. Here. We'll make it as 4H2O. Now, see the number of oxygen here. 4 into 1 is 4. So, number of oxygen is 4 here. And here, here also it is 4. But, check the number of hydrogen. It has increased now. See here, 4H2 means 4 into 2. That is totally 8 hydrogen atoms are there. And here, as usual, 2 hydrogen atoms are there. Now, uh, iron is balanced and oxygen is also balanced. But, the hydrogen became imbalanced. So now we need to balance the hydrogen. Here 8 are there and here 2 are there. So um, on which side we need to change the number of atoms or elements? Yes, of course it is right side on the product side because the number of hydrogen is less here so we can increase that. See here already we are having 2 hydrogen atoms. We need to multiply it by a number to get 8. So now what will be the value of x? x equal to 8 by 2 equal to 4. So we need to multiply this h2 by 4. Now see again here uh, hydrogen is 8 itself and the uh, number of hydrogen on the product side is changed. That is 4 into 2 it's 8. Now check the number of atoms of each element on both sides. I think it's equal now. So we'll, we have got the balanced equation. See when you are writing the equation, you need not write these brackets. These are uh, at the starting of the session only I told you that. This is just for the purpose of balancing or understanding. But while we are writing the equation, we are not supposed to write it. See, now this is our balanced equa chemical equation for iron plus water gives iron oxide plus hydrogen. So these two, uh, I have already solved these two examples. These were simple examples and by using these same steps, uh, actually there is no any formula or particular method for balancing the equation. This is just a trial and error method. Just the thing is you need to compare the number
one, two, three, four like that. You are not supposed to go for a higher number uh, at once. And by doing like this, you will uh, definitely know how to balance these equations. I am giving you an equation, uh, try to balance it. That is C6 H12 O6 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2 plus energy. Don't consider this as a, a means it is also one of the products but don't consider it while balancing. Just consider these four compounds. Can you say which reaction is this? Yes, this is a respiration uh, reaction. So try to balance this reaction and um, in my next video, I am um, now balancing chemical equation is finished. In my next video, I am going to do types of chemical reactions and uh, we will see in our next video. Bye!